now at six. The mother accused of murdering her two children in Miramar remains in jail. She was supposed to be in court today, but didn't show up. CBS 4's Joan Murray spoke with her attorney, and she's live in Fort Lauderdale. Joan? Good evening, Ruta Bay. A lot of anticipation for this hearing. After all, it was postponed several times, and we learned from her attorney that this woman has been in the psychiatric ward of the North Broward Hospital, and her attorney says she shouldn't be in jail, but rather under the care of a psychiatrist. In the case of Sophia Allison Hines. When her name was called, Sophia Hines was not in court. Her public defender stopped it from happening over the prosecutor's objection. This is a murder case, Your Honor, and I think it is imperative that the hearing not only be held, but be held unless there is some reason why she cannot physically be present. According to her lawyer, Hines is catatonic, can hardly talk, and has been that way since being arrested for killing her seven month old baby boy and three year old daughter at her cousin's home in Miramar Wednesday. Hines told police she suffocated the children, taking a sheet and holding it over their mouths until they stopped breathing. She suffers a severe case of postpartum depression. I think women all over America are uh, either familiar with it or know someone who has suffered from it, but this is something like I've never seen. And Benson says she has proof that Hines' brother in New York told her Hines was diagnosed after her baby boy was born and that Hines was put on medication for her extreme sadness and anxiety. But Hines' husband in Philadelphia said he was unaware she was suffering when she left on vacation a week ago. I really can't say what's going on with her head, what's wrong with her, but I, I just, I can't understand. I'm really confused right now. I'm trying to talk, but the words just not coming. What happens next for Hines is unknown. If a court agrees, she could be transferred from the jail to a hospital. Ms. Hines is going to be held no bond at this time. And we have gotten some indication that there was trouble in Philadelphia, that the equivalent of DCF here in Florida, that that agency did have contact with Hines and her husband, and they were undergoing counseling sessions related to their children. So what happens next? Well, her attorney says she's going to get experts to testify in court that Hines should be transferred to a hospital and stay there until she is well enough to plan a defense. In Fort Lauderdale, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News. Thank you, Joan.